So today I am unboxing our new Netcom NF10W VDSL slash ADSL Wi-Fi modem, which is for use with the uh, National Broadband Network here in Australia. So uh, it's it's meant to be NBN ready. So um, yeah, we'll see how we go. Uh, now it comes with two USB ports, uh, which I thought would be handy for sharing uh, some hard drives on the network, uh, a number of 100 megabit Ethernet ports, a uh, gigabit one port, the VDSL and ADSL uh, line line in port, and obviously 300 megabits per second Wi-Fi and security features. So the box is meant to include the router itself, power adapter, quick start guide, uh, RJ45 cable, a phone cable, RJ11, uh, wireless info, warranty card, etc. It's meant to be compatible with everything. It's also got a two-year warranty, which is kind of nice, I guess. So, in the box, we've got our router here. Um, plastic wrapped. Uh, looks kind of normal, as you'd expect. So it stands upright. Uh, there's a USB port on the top there, uh, as well as some um, WPS and Wi-Fi buttons for connectivity there. Um, yeah, then we've got our, our quick start manual. Which is kind of the, the straightforward stuff, um, pretty much as you'd expect with any, any router that you get. Uh, there's not much to it kind of the same, just entering your passwords, usernames, that sort of thing. Um, and also changing wireless settings, which is important because it comes with this wireless security card, which tells you what the default Wi-Fi settings are. Now, obviously these are not my settings anymore. I have changed them. Uh, and I would definitely recommend you do so as well if you get one of these. Then we've got the cables, power, ethernet, um, and phone cables. So this is everything that's in the box. Now it's meant to be all ready to go. So it should just be a matter of connecting it all up, plugging it in, and it should connect. So I've taken the plastic off here. So we've got our power up the top, a reset button, US, another USB port, one uh, ethernet ports, one port, and down the bottom is the phone port. So, we should just need to connect the RJ11 cable. Uh, helps if I do it the right way around. It's a little bit harder than it looks with one hand. So, do that. And then next up we've got our power cable, so we just plug that in up the top. And that should be everything we need if we're connecting via Wi-Fi. So, it's pretty straightforward, then if we were connecting via Ethernet, we'd just plug our Ethernet cable into one of these um, yellow ports. If we were using a, um, something besides fibre to the node, which is what mine is, we would use that blue one port. Because my connection is, is fibre to the node, uh, we, we go in via the DSL port. So now we just want to connect that up to our wall socket. There we go. And plug in the power. switch that on and now just hit that little power button underneath the power cable to turn on the router. Now to start with you'll get these the red light on power and on DSL will come on and so that'll that'll stay on for a little while. Now for me it auto detected my settings for me uh, but that did take a little while for it to actually happen and to start working. So it sat on this, these red lights for quite a while. Uh, I would say probably around about oh, two minutes. And then we started to get these flashing ones. So the power light one went green, DSL started flashing green, and the Wi-Fi light came on solid green. So what that means is the modem's powered up, the Wi-Fi is operational, and DSL, it knows there's a DSL connection, uh, which you can see up there. 
but the www light which means it's actually connected was not on yet so now we've got that www light on which means we have an active internet connection so i found this process from once i powered it on with it all connected it took about five minutes and then i was all good to go so i connected via wi-fi using the ssid and the password that were on the wi-fi card in the box and from there i could then log in and change my details and so on so my wi-fi name and password hope you found this helpful hit the like button and subscribe for more